Hello to my like-minded friends. I want to share with you today a way that you can earn passive income that's really easy. If you have a phone or you have a laptop, you can do this online. All the creating, and you don't have to go out and invest in anything else. Um, you do need an Etsy account. You do need a Canva account because everything I'm going to show you today, those are the tools that will help you to start learning a passive income. Now, one of the things I want to point out Passive income is wonderful. It's income that keeps coming in after you've done all the work. And that's the key. You have to do the work first. Not there, there ain't no free lunch in anything that you do. All these people you see making lots of money are putting in lots of hours and lots of work and you reap the rewards later. So that's what passive income is. So I don't want to give any false hope here that you're just going to push some buttons and start making money. It doesn't work that way. No lottery tickets, right? Well, they're, they're not even, <laughs> they don't make money. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. I ended up with 10 different products. I went into Etsy. We're going to use the Etsy program to sell our products. That's where you can download them. There are others, but I don't want to confuse you with a bunch of different things. Etsy is very successful. A lot of people have made lots of money on there. And what we're going to talk about today are digital products. People can go in and they can buy what they want and print it off let's go ahead and get started we're going to go into etsy and these are 10 that i found that were good sellers and i'm also going to show you that an optimization tool that i use that helps me to know that all right let's go over to etsy now now once you get into etsy you're going to go over here where it says search and we're not going to i'm not going to do the search for every one of these but this is what i did as i went to look for them and the first one we're going to look for is a resume template how many of you went to write a resume and yes they have free ones online but these are really nice these are like they take them up a step i spelled it wrong and it still came up <laughs> but i was really impressed with some of the ones that were here on this page um and you can for like eight bucks you can buy a template and then go in and just fill in all the parts and how much easier is that and these are really professional looking very beautiful um they just have a more flair to them than something that you would get for free online. So this actually is a very hot product. And I want to show you right here. See under where I wrote resume template spelled wrong. The volume for this is 210 people search for this every month. The CPC, that's the cost per click, is $3.38. The higher that this is, the better, and then the competition. I want you to look right here. If this is all blue, that means lots of people are looking for this. So that's a good sign. Now, how do I know about this? I'm going to show you very quickly because this isn't about other tools, but there's a tool called Keywords Everywhere. Look it up. I'm going to click it over here to the right. I have it up here. And when I click it, keywords, keywords everywhere, I can turn it on or off anytime I want, and it brings up optimization for the word that you're searching for. If you look down here in the bottom right-hand corner, I pay $10 for 100,000 credits. Uh, so every time they, that one of these things, I look up a word, it, it takes off one. Now think about that, 10,000, it will take you, I promise you, almost a year to use that up. It's very cheap, it's a very useful tool and you keep using it. Now, if you don't use your credits within a year, they have you reset it. But again, $10 a year is not bad. If you're worried about using them up too fast, you can always turn it off by going up here and um, putting a shortcut in your toolbar, and then you can just turn it off, okay? So that's how I'm getting that information, and that's useful. All right, so that is the first one. If you're good at creating forms, create resume templates, and, and look at the ones that are there, the ones that are selling, and make yours better. Number two is a chore list or a responsibility chart. I went ahead and picked this one because it's pretty simple. It's only $2.25, but 100 people buy this, you're talking a couple hundred dollars, right? Um, there's others, but one of the things I want you to look at when you choose that document that you want to create, look at the prices that other people are charging. Um, how can I be right in there? How can I make something better, but also more affordable without being too low but this is very simple um, she's got some free edible reward coupons that parents can use for the kids so she she did something a little bit different on on this one now number three i know all of you have gone somewhere to look for a calendar if especially those of you that like to print things off this one is digital and printable and it stays and it's undated so you basically get a clean calendar and you can put the dates in yourself um, 
Number four is a meal planner. How many of you have been trying to lose weight? And I know myself, I, I did really well for a couple of years and I was writing everything down, but I was writing it like on scrap paper. But if you don't like to write it down, you feel like you can't stay on track of your meals as you're trying to lose weight or maybe just become healthier, you can come here to get a meal planner and if this is something you're really good at then share what you're doing with other people because this just because you're good at something doesn't mean everybody else is good at that same thing i know that that's one of the things that i hear all the time with people i'll say oh my gosh you should you know sell that or you should create something well it's easy why would i do that and just because it's easy for you doesn't mean it's easy for everybody else Number five is to, a to-do list. Now, from here on, when I get from here to number 10, I'm just gonna bring these up to give you an idea of what's out there. I mean, you can go in here and look for yourself, but these were some things that I felt like were very easy to make, and if you're creative, you can, you can create these, and they have a good cost per click as well. All right, so number six. Color pages can be very simple. Um, they can be um, more complicated. They can be for adults. But a lot of times you don't want a full book and you don't want to pay $30 for it. So you can come here and here's 20 pages for $1.99. And you know, that's all you need. You don't need the whole thing. And they also have some in here um, that are geared for children as well. Number seven is word puzzles. You can make word puzzles that are word searches. Um, you can do them uh, based on themes. Um, you can do themed puzzles, custom puzzles, different things. But again, a lot of people don't want to buy a whole book, so they'll come here. Now, these are $75. You might not want that one, but let's move down that you can just come in and, and see some pages that you can just print off right here. Uh, for senior citizens, 80 large print for five bucks. Go in here and look. Is there a need for large print puzzles? Or is there a need for um, maybe one that's... Um, geared for men uh you know the topics maybe you can make your themes geared for different age groups or different genders this one actually is the one that's near and dear to my heart this is homeschool printables i am a teacher i teach third grade and one of the things i'm always telling my kids is to make an index box and put some all the definitions and things in there so that's kind of the project i'm working on now is to have something printable that kids can go in at each grade level and have different definitions and terms that they need to know as they go through school that we always forget how many of you can't remember the difference between perimeter and area if you don't use it and you're only eight years old it doesn't make any sense right so we start collecting these terms and that's what i'm making myself and i'll do a video once it's up and running i'm i'm in the middle of it but here you for homeschoolers um parents at homeschool need planners lesson planners and this one's only four dollars not bad at all um, so that's definitely a need in that community um, down here there's printable art for children um, if you're in the homeschooling industry or you're a teacher you know what kids are looking for you know what they need so create something that you have found that you can't find when you need it for your students so you come in here and you create it it's a big industry the homeschooling um, definitely something that you could tap into we are on number nine and this one's a big one how many of you are getting ready to put a baby shower together and you're like oh gosh now we got to come up with these games well on here i found somebody put together a bunch of baby shower games so the reason i brought it up is not so much that this is something with a high cost per click rate but this is a need if you find yourself looking for something that it's aggravating because you can't find it then that might be something you want to create and put on etsy again things like that that you might be really good at and you really get excited about and you'd love to create create it for other people and and make it affordable for them this is the last one this is the one if you've gone through and listened to me for everything i've said and you're like none of these are resonating with me i can't even begin to think of what i could make to put on here and make some money what are you good at and um, maybe you're good at fixing or changing oil in a car you can make step sheets to to sell to people to give them the directions on how to change that oil and i know a lot of people go to youtube but they also come here you still have people that want to print it off and they want to have it in their hands now i promote having a youtube channel look how that would connect if you had the youtube channel showing them how to do it and then you had your etsy step-by-step -step 
link below saying, hey, if you want to print it off, here it is. And you don't have to charge a lot. It can be a couple bucks. It doesn't have to be a huge amount. A little bit of a lot adds up, right? Um, I was. This was very interesting. I tried to go in here to find how to's and step sheets and things, and there's not a lot in here. And I would think that would be very lucrative. I know gaming is very popular. I am not a gamer. I couldn't even tell you a game that kids play. Um, but what about making step sheets on how to do gaming and how to beat different things? I, again, I know there's YouTube videos, but change it up a little bit and make a affordable step sheet where somebody can sit there and go through step by step. A lot of us are visual. We watch it, but then you can't remember and you're sitting there trying to take notes. So there you have that step sheet that they can get the link below, take them to Etsy, and you've got all these gaming step sheets. I mean, you're going to tap into something new because I tried to find it in here and nobody else is doing it. When I type in how to, I get how to sell digital products. You don't need to learn how to do that. You need to learn how to make the products, um, find something that, that'll make you a lot of money. All right, now, where do we go to make the products? I suggest going to, you can use a Word document and create a PDF if you're doing something as simple as step sheets. Or you can go to Canva and very quickly, I'll take you over there. I have introduced you to can I've introduced or done some videos on Canva before I'll put the playlist at the end just so you can see some of the how to videos, but Canva, you can create so many things right here. It, this is just an example, but if you want to sell cards that people can print off, um, there's cards that you can make. Um, if you go all the way over here to the right, there's a calendar right here. There's a calendar template. So you can just go in and use that template and then design it according to the way you want it. I'm going to go ahead and open that up and we'll see what it looks like. All right. All I did was hit that little link that said template for calendars. And here are all the choices that I have that I can bring them in. Now, the ones that have this little um, crown is a pro account. And guess what? You have a link below that you can hit and you can get a free trial for the pro account. It is an affiliate link. And thank you for supporting me if you hit that link, but you do get a couple of weeks free so that you can test it out. It does give you more choices. Um, you don't have to, there are some free choices here, but the pro account obviously is gonna give you tons and tons of more choices. But look at that, you could go in here and change this picture. Everything's already laid out for you. And all you have to do is change this picture right here. See that I can move it and you can make a theme yourself. And there you go. How long do you think that would take you to make? Not very long at all. And again, you've got a whole calendar that you've just created for somebody and you can do it by theme. You can do it for kids by holidays, by, you know, just let your imagination go crazy. A lot of people like to print these off. It's a lot cheaper than buying a planner that you have to pay 15 or $20 for. You can upload your own photo. You can go over here to where it says upload and it, just put the photos on your desktop and you upload them in and you can put them on there. So this isn't about how to use Canva, but it's to show you how easy you can design something on here. And there you go. Start your passive income business now. I just gave you the tools that you need. You can go into Canva or go to Etsy, open up your account, and then see what you want to do. What are you passionate about? Go to Canva. You have a two-week free trial. It's not going to cost you a dime. It doesn't cost you anything to open up Etsy. Go in and try to create something and then go back and upload it to Etsy and see if it sells. You, you have nothing to lose, nothing at all. Um, I do have a link that will show you how to open up that account and get started. And you might want to watch that right here. All right, guys, have a blessed day. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below.